I am like such an embarrassment. I did just film that on the 22nd of December by myself, but I'm Jasmine and welcome to New Year's resolutions that you can actually stick to. So for the New Year's resolutions, I'm going to be splitting it into five parts, which are physical, mental, social, academic, and like others general. When 2021 began, I made six resolutions. Yeah, I was quite optimistic. Basically, I only stuck to one, which was to read more. And I kind of read, I read a lot more than I would have normally, but I didn't read that much. I think I got through six, seven books, maybe. I literally need to shut up. Seven books is not a lot. And this year I've decided to do three resolutions. So stay to the end to find out what mine are and let's get on to it. So we're going to start off with some mental resolutions. So these are good for your mind and well-being. The first one is to make your bed every day. This was my plan for last year and I didn't exactly stick to it but I did make it like more than I would have normally I'd say. I think like the benefits of making your bed every day is that it starts off your day on like a win on a small accomplishment so you'll feel more in control of your life and be like ready for the day and it also just makes you a bit more organized, your room's a bit tidier. The next one is do something kind for yourself every day. A lot of people always choose to do an act of kindness to somebody every day and obviously that's very important but I feel like we need to really make sure that ourselves are okay. If you're kind to yourself, you're more likely to be kind to others, like without you even realizing it. These can be like as simple as just giving yourself positive affirmations, like in the morning, like saying, you are enough, you can do this and everything will be okay. So I think this could be like cleaning your room or your workplace, which is just a bit kinder to yourself for where you're gonna be spending most of your time. You could be doing a hobby that you enjoy or simply doing something you enjoy. This could be taking your dog on a walk, playing with your cat, talking to a friend, just to give yourself that down time, which you mightn't have given yourself before. The next one is to cut down on social media. I know everyone's always saying this, that everyone's like, oh, you should get off social media. And it's like, yeah, of course. You may not think that social media affects you because I like, when I think about it a lot, I'm like, I don't think that it does. Like subconsciously, I think it really affects you and makes you like feel worse about yourself. But I think you need to just cut it down a little bit, not cut out social media because you're never gonna do that. Well, at least I would never, but I'm saying like, just reduce your amount of time. The next one are academic resolutions. So these are for school and for learning kind of. My first one is a resolution which I've done before, which is to read more books. So I would say that I like reading, but only if I have like a good book. I feel like you should definitely find people who enjoy reading and try and get recommendations off of them. Reading is good because it's less time on your phone less blue light and all that but you also don't get like notifications from a book so you're not going to get distracted and end up back on social media see reading i feel like you know like pinterest girls that girl all that type of thing really romanticizing your life if you say oh i read a book this morning or oh i watch netflix i think that's so like oh you read a book this morning <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i think it's like it's a lot nicer to say that you've read rather than you've watched tv the next one is to actually do your homework at home I have a bad habit of in the morning, I'll be on the bus and I'll be like, I forgot to do my mom's homework. So I'll be doing my homework on the bus or even worse, I'll be doing it in like form class. It'll mean that you're staying on top of work, improving your organization again and just punctuality, is that right? Time management, all that sort of stuff. Just getting like when you get home and you get it done, you'll get a sense of satisfaction. And again, just that little win mentality. Like everyone always says this, but oh, I wanna get better grades in school. Like that's very wide, but I'm saying better grades on average. Ask your teachers in class if you need actual help. Like I hate asking teachers for help. Like trying to be like, how do you do this? I don't know why these are so high up today, but it's kind of cozy, so we're gonna keep it. But I hate putting my hand up because it's a bit awkward, especially, I only like it if they come over to me and are like standing in front of my desk and say, like, what do you need? And I'm not saying to get your D in English to an A star. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying get your D to an C. I was gonna say to get your D to an E there. No, get your D to a C, get your A's to an A star. And I think like, you know, academic validation is really cool. Like when you do an exam and you do well and you're like, yeah, doesn't happen often for me, but you know when it does, it's like, 
I'm so cool. I'm amazing. The next ones are physical resolutions. So I feel like everyone always aims to get like better physically at the new year, which like I understand why they do it, but it just doesn't seem to last. So these are quite like, I'd say attainable, like ones that you can actually stick to resolutions for physical because nine times out of 10, does anybody actually keep using that gym membership that you got in January? No. The first one is to find a physical activity that you enjoy. Finding an exercise that you enjoy is a bit more niche than saying, oh, do more exercise. Because like, that's just very broad. I'm saying try a lot of different sports. Try things, see what works for you, what can fit around your schedule, what makes you happy and try and do that as often as you could. But you could try running, you could try cycling, you could try swimming, you could try going to the gym for like classes and try and do it with friends because you might find that a lot more enjoyable. The next one is to get more sleep. I do not get enough sleep. I, on an average school night, I go to bed between 12 and 1 and wake up at 7. Especially for me, I'm 16, that's not good. But I want to try and aim to get eight hours, which means sleeping earlier. Don't know how that's going to work. But sleep helps you better emotionally, physically, mentally. Men mentally that's the one i did google benefits of sleep so take this with a pinch of salt i don't know if it's true but apparently sleep boosts your immune system and it reduces weight gain i'm not very good at biology that's what google says hopefully it's true because if it does that great go sleep the next one is to make your own meals so home cooked meals are number one lovely and two you can get exactly what you want Unless you don't know how to cook it. But this will save money. But also, you can see exactly what you're putting into your body. Like, you can see how much salt you're putting in, how much oil, how much sugar. So you can monitor all that. And you can, like, make healthy swaps. So these are all the general resolutions. These are the ones that I didn't think went into a specific category. So I'm putting them in other slash general. So this is to spend less money slash save more money. Okay? quite broad stay with me i want to make like smarter spending choices you know like you see that hoodie and you're like i really want that but just to not do that think about if you're trying to buy something do i need this or will i still want this in like a month you know isn't it if you wear a shirt 30 times that's when you've made your money out of it don't quote me on that this year my, as in, in 2021, I saved every pound coin that I got and I got like 123 quid. So if you save one particular coin, it can be like 20 P's. I just have a stack of 20 P's there for some reason. The next one I kind of want to do, but I'm not sure. I'm like scared to do it in case I fail, you know? <laughs> so the next one is to grow a plant. Plants look cool, don't they? They're like, you know, like all those Pinterest rooms and they have loads of plants everywhere and I'm like... <gasps> I want to live there. I kind of want that, but I'm like, well, oh, but they come with insects. I don't like insects. Like I like insects, like, yeah, but I like to, but like also having a plant will improve your like responsibility and like ownership type thing. If you can keep a whole plant for a year, who's to say you couldn't get a dog next year? Even better than having a plant. Well, this is still a plant, but better than keeping like a pretty plant. Grow your own fruit and veg. Because that's quite fun. You used to do it as a kid. I don't know, I'm a bit just talking up my ass right now. The last one, which I kind of want to do, but not as like a New Year's resolution, just in general. Explore where you live and like learn about the history. So I've lived in the same country and town and house my entire 16 years on this earth. And all the like touristy spots, I haven't really been to. I don't know if I want to go, but I'm like, I probably should do that sometime. You know, like when you're on holiday, I tend to be more observant of the little things. Like I'll look at the buildings, I'll look at the trees, I'll look at the people. I'm saying you should also like learn about the history of where you are. Look at the interesting architecture, architecture. look at the, just the beauty of where you are, you know? I sound really cringy. But my plan slash resolutions for this year is going to be I want to make my bed every morning again. Look at all my cuddly toys. Cute. And this year I'm going to aim to read 12 books. See, it's like realistic, but it's not so crazy. It's like one book a month, you know? If you've got any New Year's resolutions, comment them below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.